Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is batch execution in TestNG? Let me answer. In TestNG, we can run multiple test methods from different classes, okay, as a batch. That is together. That is what we call it as batch execution. That is possible with the help of testng.xml file. In testng.xml file, we will mention different test methods from different classes and we'll run them together, okay? So let me practically demonstrate that for you. For that, I'll switch to this uh, Eclipse ID where we have the sample project. In this project, we have this uh, testng.xml file. You see, this is a testng.xml file. Let me open that. And this testng.xml file is mentioned with the uh, this uh, register test, okay? This uh, register test. So all the test methods inside the register test will be running, okay? So there are different test methods like this four, four to five, uh, four test methods are there in the register test, okay? And similarly, we have other classes like login test and such test from different packages. So in login test, how many tests are there? In login test, we have one, two, three, four, five, total five tests are there, okay? Again, we have the search test, a different class, and uh, it contains these three test methods, okay? Test and test methods. So like this, if you want to run the test methods from different classes or different packages, classes, whatever in this project, at a go, okay, in a single run, then we have to use this testng.xml file and how to batch run? Simply right click here somewhere on the testng.xml file, run as testng switch, okay? Or you can also right click on this, uh, testing.xml file and say run as testing switch, anything is fine. So it will batch run all the tests at a go, okay, as a batch. This is what is called as batch execution. Let's see one of one or two scripts and then we'll close it, okay. Okay, here parallel execution is also enabled. So multiple scripts are running in parallel, that's okay. Somewhere in the testing.xml file, if you go and see, uh, okay, where is that? I'll do one thing, I'll stop this and go to the testng.xml file and here I'll remove this, okay? This uh, attributes are mentioned because of which the tests are getting running in parallel, okay? So let me just run it again, right click, run as testng suite. This time the test will run in a sequential order instead of parallel execution so that you can understand. Test will run one by one, one after the other. But as a batch, this call is batch running where multiple test methods from multiple classes can be run in a single code with a single run otherwise, okay? Just run the testng.xml file, it is running multiple classes from multiple test methods from multiple classes. You see, second test method is running. Then third will run. So all the register tests are running as you can see now, okay? First register test, uh, test methods are running. There are four register test, test methods. One by one, they are getting running. Okay, they're running. The last one from the register test is also running, done. Now, the test methods from different class need to be running, okay? So, now it's running the test methods from a different class. Uh, let's see, you see the login tests are running, right? Okay, and so on. This is what is called as batch running, guys. Okay, this is what is called as batch running. So, hope guys, you got the answer for this question. What is batch execution in TestNG? Okay, so you are executing multiple test methods from multiple classes in a single run with the help of TestNG.xml file. Okay, and run, right click on the TestNG.xml file and run as TestNG. So, this is called as batch execution in TestNG. So, that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.